Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bengal Vision. Today's webcast features 2011 UMFK men's and women's soccer, USCA doubleheader versus the State University of New York at Canton. The number one UMFK woman faces number 16 SUNY Canton in the first contest. Let's meet in the starting lineups for the lady visiting Lady Kangaroos wearing the blue uniforms. Number one, Colleen Fegan. Number two, Dominique Paletolo. Number five, Bailey Allen. Number seven, Stephanie Abera. Number eight, Ricey Celia. Number 13, Chelsea Allen. Number 15, Autumn Irwin. Number 18, Kathy Sofranco. Number 19, Stephanie Clark. Number 20, Melissa Camperverde. Number 21, Jackie Sid Lelax. And let's meet the starting lineup for your UMFK Lady Bengals. Number 4, Victoria Aradel Dubois, sophomore from Montreal, Quebec. Number 7, Marie Michelle Lachance, Jr. from Montreal, Quebec. Number 8, Camille Dugas, freshman from Montreal, Quebec. Number 9, Whitney Sinclair, senior from Dexter, Maine. Number 12, Marie Pierre Diaz, Jr. from Montreal, Quebec. Number 13, Kali Risby, senior from Temecula, California. Number 14, Angela Northworthy, senior from Prescott, Maine. Number 15, Liz Morna, sophomore from Eagle Lake, Maine. Number 17, Captain Teresa Biggs, Jr. from Cape Town, South Africa. Number 19, Jen Culprit, sophomore from Scarborough, Maine. And number 23, the keeper, freshman from Soko, Maine. The officials for today are Larry West Rochester. And working the lines are Bob Seth and Mr. Dave Merch the Merchant. The ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, the UMFK women's soccer team is wearing pink laces and headbands in recognition of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Please join them in helping to recognize and support the fight against breast cancer worldwide. The University of Maine at Fort Kent welcome all players, official and spectator, to today's contest. UMFK is committed to the true spirit of competition by being a champion of character through the five core values the university embraces which are respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and sportsmanship. You're watching a University of Maine at Fort Kent Bengal Vision Live webcast of a 2011 women's soccer USCAA match between SUNY Canton and UMFK Lady Bengals. Kickoff time today will, will be at 12 noon. Please contact Sport Information Director Eric Rurgent at Rurgent at main.edu with any technical difficulties, questions or comments regarding to today's broadcast. Please please rise and remove your hat for the national anthem.
and we're off. Ball is played back to Liz Morna. Let's try to play it up to Angela Northworthy, but it was a bit overhit. And that's going to be a throw in for Sweeney Canton. And she throws it up to number eight, Ricey, who tried to get it up to the striker, but it was headed out by Liz Morna. And now we have Marie underneath the ball. Ball is headed to Witness in clear number nine. Still Witness is going to try and play it off for Vic. And Vic is off. Number four, Vic is off. But the defender, number 15, Autumn, was there to shield it up to her keeper, Colleen Figan. And she's going to have a kick. Wasn't kicked the way she wanted to. But Angela Northworth is under the ball. And we're just having a ball being played around. Nobody's really controlling the ball. And now Vic is going to play nicely for Jen Culprit on the right hand side, number 19. Jen, very speedy player. Jen is still on the ball. Ball is going to be played back to Vic, number 4 from Montreal, Quebec. Still Vic is going to try and play for Teresa Biggs. Teresa Biggs is on the ball. Did a little tussle. And that resulted in the ball in the keeper's hand. Nice and easily controlled by Colleen Segan. And we have Teresa try to play it out wide. And now we have Liz on the chase. Was headed out by Liz to Angela Northworthy. And that's going to be a throw in for the Lady Bengals. It's going to be taken by Ange. And throw it up nicely for Whitney Sinclair. Still Whitney. Whitney's going to try and cut it across nicely for Vic. Nobody was there. I know we have Jen running on the ball. And Jen's going to knock it nicely. But that just went high and high over the top. Nice attempt by Whitney Sinclair to roll it across. Beautifully for Jen Culprits. But she knocked it over the top. It's going to be a goal kick for Lady Kenton. It's a beautiful day, 63 degrees, sun is shining, a lot of people here for senior week and we are practicing there to make a clearance, ball was played back awkwardly by Marie but Proctor was there to make the clearance, as I was saying it's 63 degrees, a lot of people are here supporting the Bengals, the final few games of the season, today and tomorrow ladies and j and um, the guys are going to play uh, University of Moncton um, game will be at 1 p.m. and the men's will play at 3 so if you're in the area of St. John Valley please come and join there's a lot of people here it's going to be a beautiful weekend in terms of weather so please come and support the Lady Bengals and the Bengals and now we have Vic Toria on the chase number four Vic from Montreal skillful player but the ball was taken away. And now we have number 13, Chelsea on the ball. Try to play it up for number 2, Dominique. But it was a bit overhead. And now it's going to be back to Marie Michel, who tried to play for Teresa Biggs. But it was mistimed. And now we have Liz Mona, who's making the chase. And we have number 2, Dominique on the ball. So Dominique is going to try and play it up for number 5, Bailey. And we have Bailey on the ball, who's going to play a true pass for number 20, Melissa. But Jen Culprits was victorious in that challenge. And she tried to play it off for Callie Risby. But the ball went out for a throw in. And number 20, Melissa, is going to take that throw in for the Kenton. And she tried to throw it up for number 8, Ricey. But Teresa Biggs was there. And now we have Victoria who's making a challenge. Ball was played up on the field. But the defense line of the Lady Bengals are very strong. So they're on every true pass that Canton is trying to make. Marie Michel, key player in the defense. Really good technical player. Strong on the ground in the year. And now we are throwing for the Canton. It's taken by number 20. Melissa Canton is just trying to play the ball around nicely 
showing a bit of technical ability. They try to play it up the field, but Liz Mona with that beautiful clearance. I know we have Witness Sinclair on the chase. Witness Sinclair, very speedy. He's going to try and get around number 13, Chelsea. Still Witness Sinclair, try to cut it across for Vic. But Marie was there. But in the end, Sunni Kent and defense line came out victorious. And now we're going to have a, a throw in for the Canton. It's going to be taken by number 19, Stephanie Clark. She's going to throw it up to number 2, Dominique. But it hit her uncomfortably. And that's going to be a throw in for the Bengals. It's going to be taken by Angela Northworthy. Nicely taken to Whitney Sinclair. Beautiful throw. But Whitney Sinclair couldn't manage to get her foot on the ball to get it in the back of the net. She was going to try a loop. And we have another throw in for the Bengals. Quickly taken by Ange. Lady Bengals haven't really gotten that extra vibes, that umpt that they want in their game to get it going. Nobody's really communicating the right way. They're just going to try and feel out Canton. Angela with that beautiful turn. But it was intercepted by number 13, Chelsea Allen. And then we have the captain on the ball, Teresa Biggs. She's going to play it back for Marie. Marie's going to play it on the right hand side for Callie Risby. Number 13, right back. She's going to try and play it up for Jen Culprits. But it was intercepted by the number 20, Melissa. And it's going to be a throw in for the Lady Bengals. It's going to be taken by Jen. Jen quickly throw it up for Victoria. Number 4, he's going to try and get it across. But that's going to be a goal kick. The ball had an uncomfortable bounce for Vic. She couldn't manage to get it across. Fairly decent effort though by Vic. Really playing well so far. Vic is known for her ability to move up and down the field tirelessly. And we have the captain down there, Teresa Biggs, with an uncomfortable fall. And seems like she's going to be okay. There is a big Z captain. Very strong player. They ain't going to keep her down. And she's up. Throw is taken by number 13, Chelsea Allen. Now we have Liz Morna on the ball, going to play it back for the, the sweeper. Marie played out nicely for Callie Risby, number 13 on the right back. Callie Risby from California, senior. She's dribbling up the field, played it nicely for Vic. Vic with that beautiful true pass for Jen Culprits. And Jen Culprits is on the chase. She plays a long, nice ball for Teresa Big, number 17, who's going to try and get off a shot. And that's a beautiful shot, beautiful goal, brilliantly done by... Jen Culprits to get that beautiful ball in for Teresa Biggs. And Teresa Biggs with that one-timer. And that resulted in a goal. Beautiful assist from Jen Culprits to the captain number 17 from Cape Town, South Africa. Teresa Biggs with that beautiful shot. And just flew past the keeper like a bullet from a gun. And that's a beautiful, that was beautifully done. And it's going to be one goal to nothing. We have 30 mi 36 minutes here left of playing the first half of the game. The Lady Bengals are leading so far. And it's a beautiful day. 63 degrees. If you're close by, please come and join us. There's a lot of people here watching, supporting the Bengals. And then we have the defender, Liz Mona on the ball. going to try and play it out for Anch, but... The, the striker, number two, Dominique, was there. And it's that resulted that encounter resulted in a throw-in for the Lady Kenton. It's going to be taken by number 21, Jackie. And she had a long throw-in for the number eight, Ricey. But it was overthrown. And the Bengals' defense line got that to clearance. And now we have the captain on the ball. Played beautifully for Marie. And Marie is going to play up nicely for... Whitney Sinclair, number nine. Still Whitney with the speed. Still Whitney. But she was bumped off the ball by the number 15, Autumn. And she kicked it for a throw-in for the Lady Bengals. 
and it's gonna be taken by the number 14 Angela Northworthy Angela that beautiful throw for Marie Jen Culprits, the right midfield and the ball played up beautifully for Victoria and Victoria with a shot from way out but that just went wide of the target beautiful shot from Vic from outside of the 18 yard box traveled nicely along the ground if that was on target that would have been dangerous for the goalkeeper Fegan so that was a quick thinking by Victoria who's playing well so far very speedy player Number four, Vic. Always have some good decision making. And now we have the number two on the ball, and she was bumped off the ball by the strong Liz Mono. And now we have Ali Risby, number 13 on the ball. We're gonna play it out nicely for Jen Culbridge. Jen Culbridge spread back for Camille. Camille to the captain. Now we have the captain on the wall, number 17, play a beautiful loop ball out to Angela Northworthy, who's going to nicely play it up for Whitney, and now she changed her mind, she played it beautifully for Vic with a beautiful two pass, and Vic, Vic with that beautiful chip towards the goal, but that hit the, cross, hit the post and came back out, and she had another attempt, and she couldn't get her foot on the ball, but that was a beautiful attempt though by Vic, with that wonderful true pass from Angela Northworthy she just ran onto it tapped it in but the ball hit the post and came back out and she had another attempt but she couldn't manage to get her foot on the ball and that resulted in a goal kick for the Kenton the Bengals are really playing well so far had two chances already score one and now the game is at one nothing the Lady Bengals are leading and that was a strong tackle from Liz Morno short but strong you're watching a university main of work and bengals vision live webcast of a 2011 women's soccer usca match between suny canton and the lady bengals it was nicely done by marie pierre she tried to play it for whitney but whitney was bumped off the ball and now we have the captain Teresa biggs on the ball who played up nicely for vic and Vic with a beautiful pass to Whitney Sinclair. But linesman Steth says that's a half side. It's going to be a half side kick for the Lady Canton. It's going to be taken by the number 13, Chelsea Allen Jr. Coming with that beautiful clearance out to Vic. But Vic couldn't manage to get her foot on the ball. The ball is just being played around now. And now we have Marie Pierre on the ball. Beautifully turned. Strong player. Very technical. Played it nicely for Camille. Camille tried to play it up for Whitney. But Whitney couldn't manage to get there. And now we have the captain on the ball. Tried to play it up for Jen Culprits. Number 19. Played it back beautifully down the field for Teresa Biggs. Teresa Biggs back to Victoria. Number 4. Vic tried to get it across. But that came off the defend the defender, number 19, Stephanie Clark, for a corner. And the corner is going to be taken by Angela Northworthy. And 
and Ange get it to Vic. Vic try to get it back to Ange and Ange try to get it across. She had a second attempt and she had a shot but that just hit the side sidebar. It's going to be a goal kick. Goal kick. That was a beautiful cross from Whitney to Vic, but it was overhit, so Vic could manage to get a foot on the ball the way she would want it. And that resulted in the goalkeeper just catching the ball nice and easy. And now we have Camille to Marie. Marie nicely out to Jen Culprits. Jen Culprits is going to try and go around the defender number 20, but number 20 came out triumphant in that encounter and now we have the number five Bailey on the ball try to play it up for number 21 Jackie but that was way too close to goalkeeper Proctor and she's gonna roll it out nicely for Marie and that was too far for Marie Chelsea Allen nicely roll it outside and now we have the number two Dominique on the ball Still the number two, try to get it across. But defender number seven, Marie Michelle Lachance, was there to knock it off her corner. And the corner is going to be taken by uh, number eight, Ricey. was beautifully headed out by the, the sweeper to Whitney Sinclair and now we have Whitney Sinclair on the ball still Whitney Sinclair that nice tackle played up, tried to play it up nicely for Vic but Vic didn't read that pass Vic was trying to break away to have Whitney loop the ball over but Whitney tried to play the true pass so that was a miscommunication by both players a nice long throw from Angela Northworthy and that was headed out by the, defend the defender number 13 Chelsea Allen we have Cali Risby cut it, cut it across and try to get it to Vic but we could manage to control it and now we have Liz Moore on the ball Still Liz Mona, the very strong Liz Mona. Try to play, play it up nicely for Marie. Marie's going to play it to Teresa Biggs, number 17. Teresa with a beautiful pass to Whitney. But Whitney could manage it. Whitney didn't control it properly. It was miscontrolled and it rolled back to the goalkeeper. Was she took her eye off the ball too early. And because of the uneven surface, it flew under her feet. And now the ball is played back to Calirisby. Calirisby headed nicely for the captain. The captain was bumped off the ball. <laughs> we have a little tassel in the middle. And Camille was the winner in that challenge. Tried to play it upfield for a quick counter. But Whitney wasn't reading that pass. And now we have Proctor. It's going to roll it out nicely for Cali Risby. Bengals are really wearing down the Canton. Bengals just have one goal so far. Playing superbly. Moving the ball around the field nice and easy. Having each player getting a touch. And everybody, is, everybody looks comfortable on the ball. Taking two touch. Play it out nicely. The defense line are really playing well so far. Which is led by... Marie Michelle Lachance and right back we have Kali Risby left back we have Liz Morna and we have Camille Dugas who is playing in front of Marie Michelle and we have Marie Pierre and Teresa Biggs in the middle and Victoria who is playing the attacking midfield 
and we have Jen Culprits and Angela Northworthy who's playing out wide and Wooten Sinclair up front leading scorer last year and the year before and we have goalkeeper Sidney Proctor in the goal really having a superb season so far it's a beautiful day 63 degrees if you're close by in the St. John Valley area please come and join us there's a lot of people supporting the Bengals their final games of this season they're playing tomorrow the ladies are playing tomorrow at 1 they're playing against University of Mountain and the, the men's are playing at 3 another double header so if you're close by you can still come and join for today's game and we have a little confrontation a little miscommunication by both players so if you're close by please come and join it's a beautiful day sunny the lady Bengals are leading one goal to nothing goal coming from Teresa Biggs the captain in the ninth minute of the game we have Ange with that challenge and we have Liz Mourner on the ball still Liz Mourner, try to play it up but that was a throw in for the Lady Canton Bengals on the attack through Kali Risby. Kali Risby gonna play it up, try to play it up beautifully for Jen. But it was headed out by the number 20, Melissa, for a throw into the Bengals that was quickly taken. And now we have Victoria who tried to loop it across for Whitney Sinclair. But that was too close to the goalkeeper. You're watching the University of Maine at Fort Kent, Bengals Vision live webcast of a 2011 women soccer USCAA match between SUNY Canton and your university Lady Bengals and Jen rolled it across nicely for Victoria who had a beautiful cross to Whitney Sinclair but goalkeeper Fegan read that and just stepped in the way and grabbed the ball and Whitney Sinclair was there though to just nicely tap it in if the goalkeeper had made any mistakes but she didn't she has safe hands she's really having a good game already had six shot six six shots five saves one goal pretty good record so far for the goalkeeper Colleen Fegan and we have three Bengals on the sideline getting ready to come on Jamie Pelletier from Eagle Lake Jamie Daigle from Madawaska and Jamie Nado also from Madawaska three Jamies are gonna come on
Paul has played beautifully for Marie. Marie with a beautiful step over. She played it for Witness Sinclair. Still Witness Sinclair on the ball. Skillful Witness Sinclair. Played up nicely for Teresa Biggs. Still Teresa Biggs. Rolled it nicely in. That was brilliantly done by Teresa Biggs with that beautiful flick. Very speedy, quick feet. And just nicely roll it past the goalkeeper and just beautifully tap it in. But it was beautifully played by Whitney Sinclair. Assisted. Yes, and now we have two goals already scored by the Bengals. Two goals coming from the captain, Teresa Biggs. We have 20 minutes here left of playing the first half of the game. Now we have the speedy bigs on the ball. The speedy captain, number 17, Rolly Kirk. Beautifully for Whitney Sinclair. And that was beautifully assisted by Teresa Biggs. Nicely rolled it across for Whitney Sinclair, who just beautifully tapped it in. And now we have three goals from the Bengals. 19 minutes here left of play in the first half of the game. 3 nothing. Two goals coming from Teresa Biggs and an assist to Whitney Sinclair. And Whitney Sinclair just beautifully rolled it in. Pass goalkeeper Colleen Fegan. Bengals are really having a superb game so far. 19 minutes here left of play. Three goals. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day for the, the beautiful game of soccer. If you're close by, if you're in the St. John Valley area, you can just come and join us. This webcast is live. Kickoff time today was at. 12 noon so you still have a lot of time and we have another game at 2 the men's are gonna play also SUNY Canton so we don't want to miss that and we have the final game of the season tomorrow at m against Moncton from Canada and we have Marie and the ball and Ball was played back. Too far for number two, Dominic. Ball is played to Jamie Nado. Jamie Nado is going to play for Marie. Marie with that beautiful turn to Camille Dugas. Camille is going to play. He's going to roll it out nicely for Kali Risby, who's going to try and play it up for Jamie. And then we have Camille Dugas, who tried to play a beautiful true pass to Jamie Palitier. And Jamie Palitier is going to try and get it across for Whitney, but. That ball was mistimed and that uh, just rolled out for a goal kick. And it's going to be taken by the goalkeeper, Colin Fegan. Or it's going to be taken by the, the defender, number 13, like Chelsea. Hey, I do Eric, I'm going to bring some. It's going to be a throw in for the Lady Bengals. It's going to be taken by Jamie Pelletier from Eagle Lake. She throw it out to Camille Dugas. Camille Dugas roll it out nicely for Cali Risby. Cali Risby tried to get it across for Whitney. But that flew against the ground. And it's going to be another throw in for the Lady Bengals. Quickly taken by Jamie. We have Camille Dugas on the ball. Roll it in the middle for number 18, Jamie Daigle, who rolled it out for the right back, Kali Risby. Played up beautifully for Camille Dugas from Montreal. And she tried to get it for Whitney. And Whitney with a beautiful control, beautiful flick. Still Whitney, number 9. Whitney with that beautiful, beautiful goal coming from Whitney Sinclair. Nice control to take it down. Beautiful flick 
to beat the defender and just nicely roll it past goalkeeper Colleen Fegan. And now we have two goals coming from Whitney Sinclair and two goals coming from Teresa Biggs, which total out of four goals. And we have less than 17 minutes here left of playing the first half of the game. And the Lady Bengals are leading four goals to nothing. And you're watching a University of Maine of Fort Kent Bengal Vision live webcast of a 2011 women's soccer USCAA between SUNY Canton and your UMFK Lady Bengals. Kickoff time today was at 12 noon. Please contact Sport Information Director Eric Rogent at W E R N T E. T G E N at main.edu with any technical difficulties, questions, or comments regarding to today's broadcast. The UMFK soccer team is wearing pink laces and headbands in recognition of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Please join them in helping to recognize and support the fight against breast cancer. Now we have Camille Dugas on the ball. And she tried to get off a shot, but that was intercepted by the number two, Dominique. Very small, speedy player who's playing the attacking position. And she went way back to make that defensive tackle. She's really having a good game. And we're going to have a foul for the Lady Kenton. Where referee Rochester disagreeing with that play. Now we have Jamie Daigle on the ball. Going to play it all nice for Jamie Nado. Still Jamie Nado on the ball. Still Jamie Nado. A beautiful dribble. Try to play it for Whitney Sinclair. But it was played too close to defender number 18, Katty. And the ball was played out by Whitney. And it's going to be a throw in for the Kenton. It's going to be quickly taken by number 3, Megan. That's going to be a throw in for the Lady Bengals. Take it quickly, taken by number six, Jamie, to Whitney. Whitney played it nicely for Marie. Marie tried to play it for Vic, but it was played too close to number 15, Autumn. And she had a beautiful clearance. And the number two, Dominique, was bumped off the ball by Camille Dugas. And Camille won a throw in. It's going to be taken by Jamie Daigle. And we have Olivia, who's going to enter the game for Whitney Sinclair. Throw is nicely taken to Marie. Marie with a beautiful turn. Played it beautifully for Jamie Nado, number six, who would try to roll it in for Teresa Biggs. It was played too close to number three, Megan. And she had a beautiful clearance. But the ball was played to Camille Dugas, who made that beautiful change to Kali Risby, number 13, who played up beautifully for Vic, Vic out to Jamie, Jamie back to Vic, and Vic tried to get it across for the captain, Teresa Biggs, but it was intercepted by the defender, number 18, Katy Sofranco, and the Bengals are just moving the ball around nicely, getting everybody to get that touch, to get that comfort, so they can have more have a touch and discipline in their game and we have the captain who's going to try and roll it across for Olivia but Olivia couldn't get there the captain Teresa Biggs is having a superb game so far two goals, one assist doesn't get better than that and the Bengals is just now moving the ball around from side to side and it was a beautiful pass that was played by Jamie Daigle too, Jamie Nado from Madawaska and we have Marie Pierre with a beautiful turn Number 12, Mary to Teresa Biggs, the captain, number 17, with a beautiful cutback. Still Teresa Biggs, she was tripped, fouled. Referee says it's a foul, it's going to be a free kick. And referee disagreeing with that play. And the captain, number 17, from Cape Town, South Africa, Teresa Biggs. Very speedy player. And the kick is going to be taken by Marie P Michelle Lachance, number seven, from Montreal, Quebec. Seems like she's going to have a shot. And that's a nice kick, too wide off the target. Have a little bit of power behind that. 
if that was on target could have been dangerous but that was too wide of the target no threat there for goalkeeper Colleen Fegan and that resulted in a goal kick which is going to be taken by the number 19 Stephanie Clark and we have 12 minutes here left of play in the first half of the match between SUNY Canton and Lady Bengals Bengals are leading four goals to nothing and, and you're watching a Bengal Vision live webcast kickoff time today was at 12 noon and please contact Sport Information Director Eric Rurgent at W-E-R-N-T-G-E-N at main.edu with any technical difficulties, questions or comment regarding to today's broadcast. And we have the number 13 on the ball, Chelsea Allen. She had played up beautifully for the number 21, Jackie. But Jackie couldn't manage to control that ball and it's going to be a throw for the Lady Bengals which could be taken by Marie Pierre. And she quickly taken that, tried to take it to Vic, but it was intercepted. And now we have the captain on the ball, Teresa Biggs, with a beautiful pass to Kali Risby, number 13. Kali Risby is going to play back to Camille Dugas, number 8 in the middle, who rolled it up for Olivia. But she was bumped off the ball. And now we have Marie, play a beautiful ball to Jamie Nado, number 6, who's going to try and get that cross but she could manage to get a ball across would have been seemed like it would have been a goal because Jamie Pelletier was there at the far post ready to head that ball in goalkeeper Fegan was at the front post it seemed like the Bengals are on a scoring mission four goals so far in the first half of the game Suni Canton is trying to get a goal but the Bengals are Bengal speed and accuracy in passing are really getting the SUNY Canton ladies really tired because the Bengals are using both sides of the field. We have very, very smart players on the field who's really using the width and the length of the field, and that is really getting the Canton ladies really tired. And now we're going to have Canton is going to make a change. Goalkeeper Colleen Fegan is going to leave the field. And it seems like we're going to have um, Lara Pratt is going to enter the game. And the throw is going to be taken by number 21, Jackie. Nicely taken. Try to get it off for number four, Kathleen. But it was too high for Kathleen and just rolled back for the sweeper number seven Murray who tried to play it off for Cali Risby which was ball was overhit and it's gonna be another throw in for the Lady Kenton and ball was cleared by Cali Risby with a beautiful ball for Vic and Vic is still on the run Vic played it beautifully for Olivia and still Olivia and she was outrun there by the sweeper number 18 Cathy Sofranco and the ball is now cleared to safety and we have the little number 2 with that awkward fall her feet was swept and she had an awkward fall Seem like she's going to be okay. Very speedy, strong player. And it's going to be a free kick for the Lady Kendon. And it's going to be taken by the number 13, Chelsea Allen. Jamie Nado with that beautiful header. Again, if you're in the St. John Valley area, please come and join us. It's a beautiful day, 63 degrees. The ladies are playing well. Four goals already in the first half of the match. And we have one of the Kenton lady down. And it seems like she's in some pain. Number two, Dominique. 
Palatolo, freshman, and she's from Clifton Park, New York. Kick is going to be taken by number 13, Chelsea Allen. And that's going to be a goal kick. And that's going to be a goal kick for the Bengals. And we have number six, Kylie O'Donnell for the Lenny Kenton entering the game. Proctor with that kick to Jamie Nado. Still Jamie Nado on the ball. She tried to flick it to Marie, but the defender was too close to her. The Canton are trying to get some life in their game, trying to get a goal to get that extra ump in their match to end this first half with a, at least a goal on the scoreboard. Now we have Marie, played up nicely for Jamie Nado. Jamie Daigle, excuse me, number 18, who's playing the left back position, came in for Liz Moreno. And now we have the number 7, Marie. And Marie Pierre tried to play that ball beautifully for Jamie Palitier, number three. And she's going to try and get it across for Megan. But the big number 15, Autumn, was there. And now we have Canton trying to get an attack through number four, Catherine. And now we have number six on the ball, number six, Kylie. But that was easily won by Jamie Daigle. Played it back to Proctor. Proctor out to Jamie Nado, and Jamie Nado rolled it nicely for Camille Dugas in the middle, who's having a superb game. Played out nicely for Olivia. Olivia is going to try and flick it for Riley, number 16, and Riley's on the run. Riley's going to pursue a tackle. And uh, because of Riley's persistency, that resulted in a throw for the Lady Bengals. And now we have Jamie Pelletier, who tried to beat two, three players, but she didn't came out victorious in those challenges. And we have the senior, Jamie Daigle, number 18 on the ball. Rolled it nicely for Marie Pierre. But the strong number eight, Ricey, was there to knock it away. And that's going to be a corner for the Lady Bengals and we have less than five minutes here on the clock remaining in the first half of the match the Bengals are leading four goals to nothing two goals coming from the captain Teresa Biggs from Cape Town South Africa and two goals coming from Whitney Sinclair from Dexter Maine leading scorer last year and leading scorer the year before she's having a superb seasons already she's a senior she's playing the last game of the season here on this field tomorrow at 1 p.m. against University of Moncton so if you're close by please come and join and support the Lady Beng the Bengals actually because there's gonna be two games there's a lot of people here in support a lot of people coming out from Montreal to support their daughters and sons so if you're close by please come and join everybody and have a wonderful atmosphere so the Lady Bengals and the, and the men can enjoy the beautiful game of soccer it's supposed to be a beautiful day tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 70s nice day to come out and get a tan and watch the beautiful game of soccer just put on your sunscreen and your glasses and head down to the alumni field and join Eric Rurgent and support the Bengals. We have Camille Dugas and the ball is going to roll it out back to Jamie Nado, but they couldn't, it didn't get there. And we had that clearance to Marie. Marie is going to roll it out nicely for. Callie Risby, the number 13, playing the right back position. 
play it beautifully for Camille with that beautiful turn to Marie Pierre. Still Marie Pierre. Roll up nicely for Ange. Excuse me, Riley. And we have less than three minutes here left off playing the first half of the game. And we have Canton trying to get an attack to Jackie, the number 21. And she's looking for a fellow teammate, but nobody's there. And still Jackie. And she's going to try and get a cross. But goalkeeper Proctor is going to handle that nicely. Proctor hasn't really gotten much pressure in this game. And we have Jamie Pelletier there trying to get the ball. Just working hard. Very hard working player. Very speedy. Went to Fort Kent High School. She used to do track and field. And she's on the ball. Jamie Pelletier with a shot. And that was just wide off the target. As I was saying, very hard working player. Really playing well since she came on. She had that beautiful shot. That was just wide off the target. And that resulted in a goal kick for the Kenton. And it's going to be taken by number 19, Stephanie Clark. She had a long kick up to number 21, Jackie. But that just bounced over her head. And ball played out to Olivia, who tried to play it up for Jamie. But it was intercepted by the defense line. And we have less than a minute here left of play. In the first half of the match. And you're watching a live webcast of the 2011 Women's Soccer USCAA. Match between SUNY Canton and your UMFK Lady Bengals. Kickoff time today was at 12 noon. And please contact Sport Information Director Eric Rogent at Rogent at main.edu with any technical difficulties, questions, or comments regarding today's broadcast. The UMFK ladies, Lady Bengals are wearing pink laces and headbands in recognition of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Please join them in helping to recognize and support the fight against breast cancer worldwide. The Lady Bengals are leading four goals to nothing. Two goals coming from Teresa Biggs and two goals coming from Whitney Sinclair. So please stay tuned for the second half of this match. This this match this matchup, excuse me. In um, ten minutes. So please join us back in ten minutes for the matchup. And please join us at two for the men's. So see you later.
Welcome back to the matchup between your Lady Bengals and the University of Canton from New York. Um, first half of the match, the Lady Bengals managed to get four goals in. Canton got nothing. And two goals came from Teresa Biggs, the captain, and an assist. And two goals coming from Whitney Sinclair, leading scorer last year. Bengals are really having a superb game so far. Using the ball, using the width of the field, moving the ball around nicely from side to side. Each player is getting touches, getting comfortable on the ball, wearing the Canton lady down. And it's a beautiful day for soccer, 63 degrees, and it, it's only supposed to get better. The men's are going to play at 2, so if you're close by, please come and join and enjoy the festivity here at the alumni field. Ball is played back to Camille Dugas, who's going to play it back to the sweeper, Marie Michelle. And she's going to play it out nicely for Kali Risby, playing the right back position. And Kali is going to play it nicely for the captain. Captain back to Kali Risby. Kali Risby played out nicely for Vic, the number four. And Vic played nicely for Jen Colbridge, number 19. But number 15, Atom from Canton, managed to. Um, get Jane Colbridge in an uncomfortable position to control the ball and she won the ball but the Bengals won it back and now we have number four Kat Kathleen is gonna try and get an attack but Liz Morna was there the very strong Liz Morna and she's gonna play it up nicely for Whitney Sinclair very speedy player still Whitney is gonna try and get it across for Vic but it was too close to goalkeeper Colleen Fegan. And Colleen is taking her time to make the kick. And that's a beautiful kick from Colleen. And she's, it's going to roll back to Kali Risby. And she tried to head it up. But number two, Dominique, was there. And she tried to play a ball beautifully up for Kathleen Hart. But it was too close to goalkeeper Proctor. And Proctor played out, played out for Kali Risby. Kali Risby up to Vic. Vic played out nicely for Jen Culprits. And Jen is going to make the dribble. But number 15, Autumn, very strong player, was there. And she played out for number 7, Stephanie. And the Bengals are really doing a wonderful job in winning the ball back when they lose it. And that's why they are victorious in this outcome already. Because as soon as the Bengals lose the ball, they win it back in less than five seconds, I would say. So the Bengals are really doing a superb job in winning the ball. They're not only good attacking, but also defensively. The back four of the Bengals are very strong players. Liz Morna, really strong, playing the left back. And uh, Marie Michelle Lachance holding everything up. The sweeper, number seven, for, for Junior from Montreal. And we have Witten there. Played that nicely for Vic. But Vic's, Vic was bumped off the ball by the strong number 20, Melissa. And that should have been a goal. But the girl came on the blind side of Vic. And she just bumped Vic off the ball to get that clearance. But all this was in a six-yard box. So that was really a good tackle by the defender for the Canton. And that resulted in a corner. And it's going to be taken by Angela Northworthy. And that's headed out by the number eight, Ricey. And that was a shot there by Vic. Well, that was wide off the target. As I was saying about the defense line of the, the Lady Bengals, they are really strong players. Communication is really a key in their ability to win balls, to win the through passes and all that. Be the sweeper is really, really good in reading the, the through passes. Marie, Mich Michelle Lachance. She's holding everything up. The Bengals are playing 3-5. 3-5-3 three, five, three, five, three position. 
three defenders, five midfielders, and three strikers. Three, five, two, excuse me. So the midfield, in, in a three, five, two position, the midfield has to be working really hard. So no attackers can really dribble through and make those easy true passes. The pass, even if they made a, make a true pass, is supposed to be under pressure. So that's why the Bengals are playing the 3-5-2 formation. And it seems like it's working for them so far because they, they've, they've, they've managed to get a lot of goals because that position is a very attacking position. Formation, excuse me. And the Bengals already have four goals on the clock in the first half of the game. And the defense line is Liz, Marie, and Kali. And in the mid midfield, we have Camille Dugas, who's playing in the back of the midfield. And we have Marie and Teresa playing side by side. And then we have Angela Nathworthy and Jen Colpritz on the outside. And we're playing Victoria and witnessing clear up front and the ball was played through Jen Culper's legs by the number 20 Melissa a beautiful attempt oh, Alando. Ball is played to the captain, Teresa Biggs, who's going to play roll it up nicely to the right back, Kali Risby. And she tried to play it up for Jen. But it was intercepted by the number 20. And the ball just rolled out for a throw in. And the referee said it's going to go to the blue. And the ball is headed nicely up by Kali Risby. Now we have Kali Risby on the bar, but she couldn't manage to hold it in, and it's going to be a throw in for the Cantons.
Bengals are just moving the ball around nicely from side to side. Ball is played up to Whitney Sinclair. Played a beautiful ball to Victoria, the number four, who's going to try and get off a shot. But that was high and wide of the target. Not very far from the target, though. Really decent effort from Victoria. Nice, beautiful pass from Whitney Sinclair to Vic. And she dribbled a little and then she had a shot. But it seemed like the ball had a miss. Had a, had a awkward bounce. But that was a pretty decent effort though from the striker, Victoria Aridale Dubois. Really having a good game so far. Now we have the speedy Whitney Sinclair on the ball. Whitney Sinclair with that skill to get around that defender. But then she was tackled up by the number 15, Autumn. And we have Liz Moore on the ball who tried to dribble around the number 21, Jackie. But um, Liz dribbled the ball outside for a throw in for the Kentons. And it was quickly taken by Jackie down the field. And it was knocked out by uh, the sweeper. Marie and that was a beautiful pass by Marie Pierre to Vic and Vic Vic tried to get out of that shot, but I was wide of the target. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent pass by Marie Pierre. Beautiful pass to loop over the defense line head. Not a very tall defense line. And Vic just ran onto it, but she could manage to get that shot on target. And Teresa tried to play that beautiful ball across to Whitney Sinclair, but it didn't reach there. Defender number three, Megan, was there. And then we have Jen Culprits on the ball still. Jen Culprits, Jen Culprits that shot, but that was hit straight to goalkeeper Colleen Fegan. And then we have Kali Risby on the ball. We headed the ball nicely up for Jen Culprits. And Jen played it down the field for herself. That beautiful run. Jen is a very quick player also. And she with a beautiful turn. And she's going to try and get it across. Beautiful flick and he's headed in the goal. But the tall goalkeeper, Colin Tegan, just palmed that out of the air. This morning on the ball, who, who just tried, went there and covered the sweeper, Marie, and Marie just knocked the ball over, throwing to the Canton. Pretty good communication there by the defense line. <sighs> it's a sunny day, nice weather, 63 degrees. The sun is shining nicely. It's a beautiful day. Eric Wernken reporting here from the sidelines. Wuniki's doing a fine job here. 4 nothing. I was uh, on the far sideline for the first goal. Scored by Teresa Biggs. Set up nicely from the back. 
on a quick one-two. And um, it's been all Lady Bengals since then. I want to remind you, uh, tomorrow, both teams honoring their seniors here on Senior Day. Women's men's doubleheader versus University of Moncton. Women will play first at 1 p.m., followed by the men at 3. And the seniors will be honored in a brief ceremony before each contest. Lady Bengals looking to stay perfect here on the season. Come in 8-0, ranked number one in the USCAA. I want to take this opportunity to let you know the national tournament will be in Asheville, North Carolina, November 3rd through the 6th. And both UMFK teams currently ranked number one and in good position to attempt to uh, defend their national championships. They got last season. SUNY Canton coming in with a very respectable record. They were ranked, I believe, 16 in the USCA at 9, 5, and 1. But it's been all gold jerseys here today. This team is tough, and especially at home. Jamie Netto and Jamie Pelletier checking in. The St. John Valley High School Products. Netto, the senior from Madawaska, Pelletier from Fort Kent, the sophomore. Or is she a junior? Anyway, she's from Fort Kent, my friends. I should know that. She's a junior, says Sneaky. Ideal conditions, as I said. Beautiful day here in the valley. Sinclair are going to make chase, and they've had a, a lot of opportunities playing balls through to the speed up front. All kinds of weapons on this Lady Bengal team. Andrew Muller is the man behind the camera. Did I pronounce it right the first time? There you go. See, it takes me a while. Peltier gets ahead on that one. Not able to get it in the goal. He's the man behind the, uh, behind the scenes here, so to speak. We thank him for his expertise. Hope you're enjoying the product that we are delivering. A lot of schools will attempt to charge fans to uh, to watch these contests. We do not do that. We like to bring this to you as a, a service, free of charge. Bengals having a little trouble keeping that one in. Colpitt's now with a nice ball through, and that's going to be Sinclair. All alone, one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, and that usually spells trouble, but she waited a bit too long, perhaps, and then shot that one high. So Sinclair missing an opportunity there. Now Biggs, she scored the first two goals and assisted on Sinclair's first of two. All four goals coming in the first half. That's where we stand now here. 26 minutes remaining in the second half. <laughs> Goal kick here for the Lady Roos out of Canton, New York.
Stoppage in play here for the substitution by Canton. UMFK women have been number one in the USCA polls all four times this season, including the latest poll that was released last week. Three points ahead of number two, Dal University of Dallas out of Texas, 206-203. And as I said, SUNY Canton was number 16. The top eight will advance to the USCAA National Tournament. This ball played now to Biggs, and she has all kinds of time in the box, but saved by the Canton keeper. That's number 14. In goal for Canton. Checking that name for you. Laura Pratt. Biggs now plays a nice ball here right in front of you to Cole Pitts. She'll carry down this touch line and Pelletier and Sinclair will decide who takes it. It's Sinclair on target, but Pratt with another save. They have been wise. To, uh, one more touch to Pelletier was wide. Sinclair leading the team in scoring, followed by Biggs and then Donique Ferreira, who is not in action today. Neto on the far wing. And Sinclair again will get a chance. All kinds of time. Rigsby will keep it in and play wide to Colpitts. The Scarborough, Maine native. Played for the Scarborough Red Storm down in southern Maine. And she takes this throw. Dugas. Nice skip off her head to Pelletier. Plays back to Neto one time, but controlled by the Canton defense momentarily. Pelletier pushed off the ball. They'll let that go. The senior Norsworthy wide and Pratt's on it again. She's been busy here, Pratt. As well as the entire Canton defense. Been on their heels for much of this contest. Now the Bengal defense will be tested here. Lachance is on it. Row will be to UMFK. Sinclair onside, looking to beat a Canton defender. Playing her last weekend of soccer in a brilliant career here at Alumni Memorial Field. Has shattered all offensive records as a Lady Bengal in her four year stint. has national regional honors and a national championship last year. And she helped the Lady Bengals get the school's first ever national championship and that was then matched by the men. The men actually did win first. I think the women played late in second last year. Pelletier now running onto this one, and she's got all kinds of speed. She finds herself one-on-one, -on -one, touches nicely to Sinclair, and Sinclair scores another one. Pelletier did a nice job there of draw drawing the Canton defense, and then the keeper, Pratt, 
and then touched over to Pel uh, to Sinclair, who had all kinds of time to finish. So she scores her third goal of the contest. Teresa Big scoring the first two. Whitney Sinclair scoring the last three, and now she'll get a substitution. 20 minutes remaining here. It's all Lady Bengals, 5-0. You're watching a you're watching a UMFK Bengal Vision broadcast of UMFK men's and women's soccer here from Fort Kent, Maine on the campus of the University of Maine at Fort Kent against the State University of New York at Canton. Men's game to follow here this contest. Can in control here now of possession. Plays that ball wide, but taken away nicely. A Schmidt Schleeminder. And a Canton player down. Coach Levesque instructing his team to kick the ball out of bounds as they do. Show of good sportsmanship there. Looks like a Canton player may have got hit in the shin. Or ankle. Number eight, Richie Salia, junior mid from Essex Junction, Vermont, my hometown. So hopefully she's okay. UMFK athletic trainer Brad Hollibert out here to take a look, along with the Canton coach, Kate Thomas Moody. Lady Bengals will huddle. Take this opportunity to huddle and talk through some things, although they've looked very sharp today. Putting together another great season as they currently stand at 8 and 0, oh, undefeated. Following tomorrow's contest, next weekend they're on the road against UMaine Farmington. These teams will again meet back-to-back -back contests in Canton, New York, October 22nd and 23rd. So it appears the Essex Junction product Celia, number eight, is okay as she walks off the field. Substitute is in for her. Five, nothing. UMFK over SUNY Canton. Clock frozen at 19.21 here, second half. The Canton men also ranked 16th in the USCA as they will take on the top ranked Bengals. Scheduled start time of 2 o'clock. And we seem to be on schedule for that. Back to action here. And Canton in possession. Play one into the box. Lachance plays it nicely. The senior Daigle makes. A challenge on it, but taken away by Canton. And now Biggs, who has played some exceptional soccer this season, especially lately. Had four goals in a game. I believe that was at Green Mountain College. Cole Pitts makes chase here. Touches past the Canton defender. Pelletier got crossed up a little bit on that. But the Bengals will retain possession. Substitutes come in. Biggs will surely be done for the day. 
as well as Cole Pitts. Megan Liebowitz, number 20, and Victoria dubois Iredell checking in. Inadvertent horn. We got a Canton player down here behind the play. I don't know if that's if anybody's seen that yet. Players over here trying to communicate it. But Canton will eventually ball eventually goes out of bounds and she will be checked here. Another break in action. I believe the clock will run at this point. Maybe I'm I am wrong. They will stop the clock. 17:24 remaining. And we'll have to get a check here on the Canton player. Number 20, Melissa Camp Overde. Sophomore forward Forest Hills, New York. So the Bengals have played very well here today from, from the get-go. They'd have a five-goal cushion to their credit. Following s tomorrow's senior day, which once again will start with the women at 1 p.m. versus the University of Moncton, followed by the men at 3, and there will be senior senior day ceremonies before those games. The Bengals will travel to Machias to take on the University of Maine Machias October 12th. I believe that's a midweek Wednesday game. Scheduled for women at one minute three. Women then go to Farmington next Saturday for 1 p.m. start time. Then to Canton, New York for those back-to-backs, October 22nd, 23rd, and that will close your regular season. They will then await to see the seedings for the national tournament November 3rd through the 5th. In Asheville, North Carolina. Book your tickets now, folks. Visit the USCAA website as we get closer to that date for information regarding that tournament at the USCAA.com. We'll be sure to have updates on the UMFK Athletics site as well as both teams gear up for the playoffs. Daigle makes chase. Canton has it. This ball played through. I'd like to give a shout out to Fort Kent's finest, Charles Bard, UMFK alum, former sweeper, as he has sent me a text message. He must be stuck at work, but uh, we're soaking up the sun here for you, Charlie Bard. Nice to see both your brothers in town today, too, Sam and Tom. I don't know if it's official, but maybe it's the Bard family reunion this weekend. We just need uh, the youngest, uh, Emily, up here. Iredale gets a shot on goal, saved by Pratt. Feel free to email or even text me, 207-631-9228. With any info, any concerns, comments, you want to just say hello out there? Let us know how everything's going. Rigsby going to play this one on the touchline. If you're local and not working, like Charlie, you should be out here playing, uh, out here watching this. This one touched through. 
Iredale deflected here as we've kind of settled in. Now Pelletier will break free and look out. She blows by three Canton defenders, but then they caught up with her. High school state champion in the 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter. If it had a low, low 100 meter mark, then she won it in the Class C ranks. DJ also, I'd like to say hello to him as he is. Let us know he's out there. Lady Bengals controlling. Action here today. Up 5 0. And cruising, folks. Oniki Samuels, I gave him a break, and I think he might have went home to Jamaica. <laughs> Give an inch, take a foot. Rigsby, wide. He's a hard worker, though. He's uh, taking some classes here. Freshly graduated last year. He does it all here. I think he even did these lines yesterday, you see. Well marked today on the field. He's a man of many talents. You might notice the tents are gone here. We had some high winds last week and kind of put the end to the tents on the, the scores tables. Decided to pack those up for the season. Riley Layton, first year player out of Limestone, Maine, is going to check in. She's wearing number 16. And she replaced the senior, Angela Norsworthy, number 14, from Presque Isle. She will be one of four UMFK seniors honored tomorrow for the Lady Bengals. In pre-match festivities, always got to love Senior Day. Whitney Sinclair, Callie Rigsby, Angela Nursworthy. I'm sorry, will be the three honored. And here comes more speed at you folks. Pelletier, there she finishes. And she's fired up, folks. The Fort Kent native, and you heard the Fort Kent faithful applauding her efforts, and she deserved it. She set up this, the fifth score of the game on a Sinclair goal, and she gets her own there, so she's got a goal and an assist today. She put it in the fifth gear, and that was the end of it, folks, finishing nicely over the top of Pratt. Still 12 minutes remaining in this one. Freshman Cindy Proctor in goal. And the UMFK defense have shut out this season seven of eight opponents. Proctor getting credit for those seven shutouts and in shape here. Hopefully I didn't jinx it to pick up another one. Canton substitute comes in and we'll have a corner from Canton. See if they can get something positive out of this. Trickles through, controlled though. And then run on by wheels. She ran into a Canton defender, kept going. Proctor communicating back there. Rigsby with a throw. And Layton gets a touch and carries. but she can't get through. Another first year player, Liebowitz, number 20. Iredale touches to Layton. 
unable to run onto it, but here's Rigsby all alone. And she sends another one into danger. Controlled by Kenton. Canton knocking it around. And possession going back and forth here. Lachance turns and will switch fields through Rigsby. once again has all kinds of time and Iredale now will go one on one looks like with Pratt although getting chase from the Canton defense Pratt gets hands on it and picks up another save Lady Bengals wearing pink armbands headbands tape around there Socks in recognition of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. They would like to ask you to please recognize and help support the fight against breast cancer worldwide. Six nothing here, UMFK, as the crowd has been quieted. The Bengals are in great position to pick up their ninth win without a loss here in 2011. Unless it snows tomorrow, it'll be the first season that we don't end a game here in the snow. In the last, I believe, five years, we've seen soccer here late into no well into mid-November. That will not be the case this season. was beginning to feel like a tradition playing in that snowball maybe we'll call both teams back out late November to play in the snow Proctor will have a goal kick And this one played nicely by number six, Jamie Netto, and Pelletier giving chase again. And she will actually keep this one in play. And we'll have a UMFK throw. Stay tuned for the men's contest here. Roughly ten minutes after this contest, as they take on SUNY Canton. Foul called there, I believe, on UMFK, pushing. Rigsby playing it up. Like to bring in, uh, bring back in Oniki Samuels. Back to the booth here. Following his three hour break, he looks like he's rejuvenated. We'll turn it back to him. Thank you, Eric Ballman Talman. Beautiful day, 63 degrees, sun is shining. If you're in the St. John Valley area, please come and join us. There's a lot of people here watching, people from all over Canada. Enjoying their sons and daughters play the beautiful game of soccer. What do you see in this men's game, Oniki? If you could give us a quick preview. These well, are former Sunrise Conference opponents. 
Well, based on what I, I see right now, there's a lot of freshmen for SUNY Kenton, players from all over. You've seen a lot of them the last uh, last four years? Um, there's quite a few that, that were on the bench for the last four I years. See. But Young there's team. a lot of new freshmen that are really talented, a couple from Jamaica. So I think the Bengals are going to really have a fairly decent matchup. Uh, they come in ranked 16th in the polls. Soon he can't ruse. Iredale now going to get an op another opportunity. Spoiled by the Canton defense. Well, that game will follow this one. As the Bengals are rolling. Suffered a double overtime loss at Houghton College. That was the first time they have lost in the regular season since, I believe, 2006. But they have been just rolling right along since then. All right, Oniki, I'm going to go get a picture here of these Lady Bengals in their post-game... Um, post-game uh, huddle. So best of luck to you, Oniki. I sh should be able to rejoin you here during the men's contest. Hold down the fort here. So I've seen some bees flying around in this booth, so be careful. They like yellow. Men's teams are the men team, the Canton. They're having a pretty decent season. Five, nine, five, and one. Having a lot of new freshmen. It's supposed to be speedy, very technical. A few folks from Jamaica. So it seemed like the coach went out and did a little recruiting. So the Bengals are going to have a fairly decent matchup pretty exciting game so if you're watching please if you're close by please come and join us it's supposed to be a good game good weekend tomorrow Moncton is going to come and join us here at Alumni Field it's going to be live at 1 p.m. and at 3 p.m. so the Lady Bengals are leading six goals to nothing Less than three minutes here left of play in the first, in the second half, excuse me, of, ga of play. Kickoff time today was at 12 noon. And we had the sport information director there, Eric Rogent. He was your host earlier. And you can contact him with any concerns, questions, or comments. Lady Bengals really had a pretty decent really had a pretty decent game today. Moved the ball around nicely, composure and a lot of skills has been shown today here in the field. Two goals coming from Whitney Sinclair, two goals coming from Teresa Biggs, a goal from Jamie Pelletier. I know we have Vic and Vic is gonna have that shot. And that was a beautiful whisker from Victoria Aradel de Bois to get that in the roof off the post and back inside the goal. Brilliantly done by Victoria. And now it's seven goals to nothing. The Bengals are leading. Really, really having a pretty decent performance. 80% of position went to the Bengals. And as soon as they lose the ball, it takes them less than five seconds to win it back and start doing their thing. So I think that's the key in their play. 
as soon as they, they lose it, they get in the right position, the defensive position, and win the ball back. And then they start moving the ball around using the width of the field. As you can see now, Vic played it out nicely to Riley. And Riley's going to play it nicely to Olivia. And now we have less than a minute here left of play. And you're watching a University of Maine Fork and Bengals Vision live webcast of a 2011 women's soccer USCAA match between SUNY Canton and their Lady Bengals. Kickoff time today was at 12 noon. And please stay tuned at 2 to join us for the men's matchup against SUNY Canton. SUNY Canton national rank by the USCAA at number 16. The Bengals are ranked at number 1. So the Canton really have a decent team and they're here today to compete against the Bengals so please stay tuned for that if you're looking to pick up three credits towards your degree sign up for sign up now for a class during UMFK three weeks winter term for more information for more information please call 834-7520 so please stay tuned in exactly 15 minutes for the men's kickoff.